my name? What is my name? of the Dark Gods. Mankind languishes in a tumultuous galaxy. Its potential shackled by a corpse on a gilded throne. We must look to the past for our salvation. To the primal gods who shape all that is. Let there be war upon this false Imperium. Let the galaxy burn. Lord Fryker, our invasion fleet draws nigh to Taylor. Once they've established a foothold, we can begin our conquest of Chincha. Acknowledged. Remain watchful. I will not tolerate failure. This is the first step. Your destiny unfolds to glory. There is little glory in escorting transport ships while the Aegis Ocularis burns. Patience. Like a fortress, glory must have solid foundations. This escort mission is but the first step on the path. Glory to the gods. We have detected an Ultramarine's fleet on the outer edge of the Medusae Shoal. Guleman's weaklings so right close down. to the Eye of Terror. I sense opportunity to repay old debts. All ships to battle stations! Traitor vessels! You face the sons of Macrark! The Avengers of a hundred despoiled worlds! Yield! And I promise a swift death in the Emperor's name! Save your breath, Colonel. Mercy is not yours to offer or receive this day. We shall see. All vessels move to engage! In the name of the Prophet Lorgar and the Dark Gods, you will find no victory here. Have a care. Do not let old wounds blind you to your purpose. The transport vessels must reach their destination. Vessels are clear of the battle and proceed towards Tyloth. Excellent. The Astartes fleet is dust. Their blind loyalty to the corpse emperor repaid with death. My appetite for slaughter is barely wetted. The coming days promise slaughter enough to satisfy your every craving. You need only have patience. Cadia has fallen. But the war against the servants of the false emperor forges ever on. How may I serve the gods? The Black Fleet is thick with ambitious warlords. They know little loyalty to Warmaster Abaddon, and pay but lip service to the gods. The time is coming.
when Abaddon will depend upon you as no other. But only if you prove yourself. I shall not be found wanting malevolence. Good. Strike now. Carve yourself a domain from amongst these squalling stars. My agent within the Imperial Navy will assist you in this matter. Lord High Admiral Dran? Yes, Malevolence? Is Admiral Spire contained as I commanded? Indeed, Malevolence. Even now, the hero of the Gothic War wastes his might on insignificant battles in the Cadian Sector, leaving your forces free reign elsewhere. Are you certain of this? The early stages of this onslaught are vital. Spire's presence in this sector would prove... problematic. If only for the false hope it would seed. It is truth, I swear to you. You need not concern yourself with Spire until you choose to do so. Good. Your loyalty will be rewarded, Admiral. Warlord Vriken, I suggest you focus your attention on Chinchar. Its peoples cry out for spiritual guidance and freedom from the false idols of the glutted Imperium. It shall be as you say, Malevolence. The Imperium of Man. A galaxy-spanning empire in decline. Once, humanity stood on the brink of taming the stars. A golden age of light and glory beckoned. But men have ever been prone to temptation and lured to stubborn pride. Now the Space Marines, intended as the vanguard of mankind's ascension, fight ceaselessly to prevent their father's work sliding into ruin. The Adeptus Mechanicus, custodians of wondrous technology, take to the stars in hope of unearthing lost secrets from the very darkest of ages, and to impose the Omnissiah's will upon a scattered galaxy. But nowhere is the Imperium's might more plainly seen than in the vessels of its star-spanning navy. As war rages, colossal warships slip anchor to smite the foe with the righteous fury of the faithful. Such vessels are both Imperium's stalwart shield and gleaming spear, shining in the impenetrable dark of space. It takes more than a man to command such a warship. It takes a hero, strong in will and unflinching of purpose. Without such heroes, the Emperor's light would surely wane. Admiral Spire is one such hero. Forged in the hallways of the vaunted Scola Progenium, tempered in the cursed days of Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. Long has he been lost. But now, freed from the Immaterium's clutches, he returns to shed his blood in the Emperor's cause once more. Any who seek to sweep mankind from the stars must first reckon with Spire. Many have sought his head. All have failed. But one hero alone may not be enough to change the Imperium's fortunes. It will take thousands, even millions, for mankind to reclaim its footing in the Eye of Terror's gaping maw. And millions more to hold it. Such a task will not be easy. Cadia is demon-hunted rubble, and the Imperium itself is scarred, torn in two by the Cicatrix Maledictum. But it is the nature of heroes to triumph in adversity and a faith to flourish in the dark. So easily does Chincha fall. The gods mark you for greatness. I am honored to be their vessel. As you should. This system is almost ours. Even now, my dark apostles rouse the populace to fervor. Imperial crews turn upon one another in glorious uprising. But greater tests await. The gods see your efforts and are satisfied. 
Hold their interest. Perform dark rituals to the gods of the worlds you seize. And you will be justly rewarded. I live to serve the Four. And serve them you shall, but not alone. Your dedication to the gods draws their foremost champions to your banner. Choose well who serves you. And remember always that one serves his patron god above all. I understand, Malevolence. Then make your selection from those gathered before you, and choose wisely. choice. Bound by chains of loyalty and marked by the divine, he will serve you well in the months to come. I look forward to witnessing his capabilities once battle is joined, Malevolence. The gods' attention is fickle. Should you wish to hold their gaze, you must make an offering worthy of notice. Subjugate a captured system. Let sacrifice and ritual blaze across the stars. Such has always been the word-bearer's way. Let the worthy embrace the truth of chaos, and the weak feed the flames. Good. Then it remains only to choose the nature of your offering. Let the ritual begin. The ritual has begun. The Dark Gods see your faith blazing like a star. Their gifts will surely follow. This is but the beginning, Malevolence. Soon all the sectors of the Aegis Ocularis will scream praise to Chaos. With Chinchar brought into the embrace of Chaos, you should cast your eye further afield. What would you recommend, Malevolence? It would seem the Imperium are mustering a counterblow at Dorsia. Perhaps there. The skies are choked with wreckage. Imperial vessels will surely use the debris as a shield against our auspexes. The challenge is too much for you. Was I mistaken to choose you as a harbinger of the gods? I will lead the attack personally. Let the ruin of Dorsia send a message to those who would thwart mankind's ascension. This is the last known Imperial rally point. This will be a dangerous hunting ground, filled with wreckage and false signals. A good place for an ambush. Indeed. Another opportunity to prove your worth. You must not allow censored ghosts to lead you into a trap. You have a recommendation, Malevolence. Reach forth your hand. Let your escort vessels and squadrons uncover the battlefield's truth. Save your warships for when the Unbeliever's trap is sprung. Agreed. We'll use their own snare against them. Task Force Retribution. Heretic forces are converging on our position. Break and attack. Target and destroy all enemy signatures! It seems we've been detected. Good. I tire of skulking amidst old bones.
Task Force Retribution, this is Dark Angel's Battle Group Penance. We stand ready to assist. Move to Vector. Lord Fryken, with your assistance, I can neutralize the command crew of the Ventral Justice and leave the vessel ripe for capture. Who are you? Why should I believe your claims? Because I am Arvin Talus, forerunner of the Alpha Legion. I can do as I claim. All you need do is stand ready. Truly, this is a sign of rising fortunes. Trust to the scion of Alpharius. Engage the foe, but spare the Dark Angel's flagship. Very well. Tracer vessels identified. Prepare to engage all. Now is the moment. I have blast doors rigged to seal off the bridge. Send your strike teams and the vessel will be ours. Stand ready, Talus. Strike teams are mobilizing. Make haste. They're tracing my signal. Outward transmission detected. There is a traitor aboard. Find and kill him. This is no time for delay. Board the flagship. Rampage through their ship. Successful master. We stand ready. For we strike from the warp! Boarding attack successful, master! Our minions rampage through their ship! Master Corile is dead. The bridge is under our command. Resistance elsewhere is fading as we vent the compartments into space. Diagnostics reveal moderate system loss. He has done well. If shielded, he may prove a valuable asset. Agreed. Talus, bring your prize under control. I'll order the fleet to give you what protection we can as we destroy the rest of the Loyalist fleet. My thanks. Another victory for the gods. All spexes detect nothing save wreckage. Talus, you have served me well. Come aboard. We have much to discuss. I would be honored. I will join you as soon as this vessel's last resistance is purged. I regret that several Imperial vessels have fled your wrath. Even now, they regroup under the command of Lord Admiral Spire. Let them run. I sought to send a message. Let them bear it far and wide to any who have wit to hear. We of the Alpha Legion excel in delivering such tidings. If you would have us serve you. Have a care. The sons of Alpharius are masters of deception. Keep them close. But not too close. Agreed. Return to your vessel, Instigator Talus. I will find you employment soon enough. As you command. I confess you exceed my expectations. So long as you continue to please the gods, their blessings will flow. We should press on to the Agrippina sector and bring enlightenment to this spire. Warlord Riker! Are you a mewling cur? The false emperor's warriors are regrouping. Why have you not broken their resistance? They have proven more determined than anticipated. 
Even now, our Lord Admiral Spire marshals the defenders of the Aegis Ocularis Eastern Fringe. Perhaps worse, an inquisitive Darkhammer has rooted out many of our operatives and infiltrators, blinding our great work. No excuses! I am the Chosen of Abaddon! I command you to bring Spire to battle! Scatter his fleet and his hopes! As you command. Hellbreed has closed the channel. He sees you as a threat, but we need not play his game. However, we cannot sit idle. Spire is a distant threat, but Darkhammer? We should put Drang to use. Lure Darkhammer into a trap. I concur. It is past time Drang proved his worth. Dran, your master commands you. Malevolence, how may I serve the gods? We desire direct confrontation with Inquisitor Darkhammer. It should be simple enough to arrange. The man's a maniac when he gets the spur of heresy in his nostrils. I concede the stellar fortress Baleful Night with a few expendable agents and let word of them reach Darkhammer. The Ultor system is full of gas clouds. It should make any ambush pleasingly effective. Good. Enact your plan, Drang. We will be ready. It seems we have an ambush to prepare. So this is the Baleful Night. Drang's infiltrators must have already activated its defenses. Let us find out, Malevolence. Open comms. We have awaited your arrival. The station stands ready. What are your orders? You have the honor of acting as bait. Draw the enemy's attention until we're ready to strike. As you will. All vessels, set course for the gas cloud. We'll ambush the loyalists once they're drawn onto the station's guns. Hold all fire for my order! It seems this cloud is unstable. A plasmic storm is gathering. When it breaks, it may compromise your designs. We will take the risk. There is no victory in timidity. Darkhammer's death is worth the gamble. Lord Inquisitor, I have arrived at the coordinates provided by Admiral Drang. There is some evidence of traitor activity, but weapons read as inactive, and our auspexes detect no traitor vessels. Very well. My fleet is inbound. Reduce that station to scrap, but take no unnecessary risks. Should you encounter heavy resistance, withdraw and await my arrival. Acknowledged. Combat vectors calculated. Just a little closer. The Inquisitor Darkhammer. We are detecting renegade vessels emerging from the gas clouds. Projected strength. Communications disrupted. Darkhammer knows all he needs and all he deserves. Arrogance will lure him the rest of the way. I recommend you prepare for his arrival. Battle group purity. Adopt purge formation. Assist the Mechanicus fleet. I need no prisoners. Make an example of our foes, traitors. Throw yourselves on the Emperor's mercy, for you shall have none from me. 
A man of failing reason and false faith struts his hour, little knowing his life is already spent. All vessels engage! Loose the fury of the Dark Gods! Our victims! Darkhammer's misplaced zeal. Now we are free to prosecute our campaign against Admiral Spire. I understand that even now Imperial forces are withdrawing to Bellis Corona in an attempt to regroup. Then I shall reward their indulgence with the screams of the dying. We pursue into Bellis Corona. No more games of whispers and shadows. I will crush them! Each time we attack, the false Emperor's lackeys flee. They have no taste for battle. There can be no victory until their lines of retreat are cut. Even the unwitting serve the Dark God's purpose. The omens tell me that the Tyranids have reached the Aegis Ocularis. Our sorcerers can create a psychic beacon that will draw them onto Spire's holdings. Let one foe devour the other. The Tyranids are rapacious. We gain nothing if we are devoured alongside Spire's forces. Let Laurentix be the lure. It lies far enough from our holdings to offer little peril. But it has become crucial to Spire's war effort. At worst, a Tyranid incursion will throw his plans into disarray. At best, it will reshape the balance of power in this entire sector. Agreed. Proceed, Malevolence. Let us wake Spire's Doom. For triumph to be ours, we must bring our flagship alongside the Ancient One's carcass. Only then can our sorcerers twist its residual psychic spore to our purposes. I understand, Malevolence. For the glory of the Chaos, it will be done. Traitor Admiral. 
Whatever you seek in this system will be denied you. Praise the Omnissiah. Heed not his empty threats. We hold our course. Fresh signatures of the all specs. The corpse emperor's lackeys are present in greater numbers than anticipated. It matters not. They are not but lies and will be swatted as such. One, it must not be destroyed.
faithful melded to purity of purpose. There is no perfection save for that granted by the gods, but I agree, they are impressed for the same. We are being as elsewhere. We'll let the Tyranids gorge on the survivors. Let the Imperium safeguard its worlds against the devourers while we gather our strength. Indeed. All ships, disengage and set course for the rendezvous. Let the feast begin. The Tyranids. The Great Devourer. In all the stars, there has never been a Xenos race more inimical to the survival of mankind. Indeed, they are the bane of all other life. Their origins are but poorly understood. The stuff of rumor and supposition and nightmare. The Adepts of Mars believe that a single, unknowable consciousness guides the High Fleets about their voracious purpose. This consciousness knows only unquenchable hunger. Hive ships serve as synapse nodes, spreading the influence of the Tyranid Hive Mind across the stars. Such is the hive mind's suffocating will that the warp is distorted for light years around. Confusion and terror spread before the hive fleets advance as dreams darken and madness spreads. As the hive fleets advance, the suffocating embrace quenches the Emperor's light and drowns doomed worlds in psychic shadow. But the greatest threat comes from within. Foul creatures known as gene stealers infiltrate unvigilant worlds. A patriarch arises from the population's subverted flesh and projects a psychic beacon to draw the high fleet ever closer. As the gene stealer cult grows in power, they emerge from the shadows of their benighted world. Civil war rages, shaking the planet asunder. Then the skies darken with spores and the high fleet's voracious tendrils. The cultists exult at the fulfillment of prophecy and their ascension into the light. Their delusions die with them. There are many high fleets, each but a facet of the immeasurable Tyranid threat. Leviathan is the greatest and has wrought ruin on a scale never before witnessed. Though the great rift arising from Cadia's ruin has severed many of Leviathan's tendrils, many more remain. Even now, one is surging towards the Eye of Terror. No victory is achieved without sacrifice. And our sacrifices have been many. It matters not. As Spire's forces hasten to contain the Tyranids, we will strike elsewhere. Today's losses are insignificant when set beside what their lives have bought us. Indeed. The war turns in our favor. Glory to the Four! I must speak with you. Mind your place. You petition a herald of the Dark Gods, not some feckless idolater. Uh, oh, of course, Malevolence. Bellis Corona is in uproar. Spire is gathering a refugee fleet at Phonosar. He intends to retreat to Nemesis Tessera. Spire, am I never to be free of him? There is opportunity here. If we seize the refugee vessels, we undermine Spire from within. It will... This is Huron Blackheart. My Blackstone Fortress is under attack by Tyranid vessels. We've sustained heavy damage and cannot outrun them. 
I demand assistance. The Palatinos fault. It's within our strike range. Our endeavors with the Tyranids have had unexpected consequences. But all is as the gods will it. Lift Huron would make an influential ally, should he feel he owes you a debt. At last, the great Malos Vrykan deigns to show his face. Afraid of a few Tyranids, perhaps? I do not answer to you, Blackheart. And if you find the Aegis Ocularis too perilous, perhaps you should return to Badab and cower behind your fortifications. <laughs> so you do have a spine. Perhaps there is a hope. I would gladly return to Badab, but for Abaddon's orders. But events have gone ill. It has been hours since I've received the last transmission from my fleet. Gather your vessels. There is slaughter to be done. The Tyranids are here. Defend the fortress. It must not be destroyed. Warpsmith! I need the warp cannon operational now! Fail me and I'll have you skinned alive! All vessels engage! Keep the Tyranids away from the Blackstone Fortress! Stand ready! resist our efforts, but repairs to the warp cannon are complete. Unleash its fury wherever you see fit. My servants await your signal. The test continues. The Tyranids come on unabated. Fight on! Prove your worthiness! Slaughter them all! Blackstone Fortress. It must reach safety.
engines. Preparing to disengage. I shan't forget that you stood at my side where no other would. I was glad to do so. The gods decree you yet have a role to play in war for the Aegis Ocularis. And yet Abaddon keeps me at arm's length. Had I lost this fortress, things would have gone ill for us all. I've ordered resources be made available to you. And so long as you keep my hounds fed, you may call upon my assistance in battle. Worry not, Huron. This is the convoy Dran spoke of. He continues to prove his value to your cause. Our boarding parties are prepared, but to infiltrate these ships we will need confusion, disorder. We do not need all of these vessels. Turn your guns on the rest. Let the screams of their crews convince the others of their fortunate escape, never knowing it was of your design. A plan worthy of the greatest deceiver of levels. I accept your guidance in this matter. That is unfortunate. You have a gift for understatement malevolence. Those rogue asteroids will crush our vessels. But if we withdraw, we lose the opportunity to infiltrate the convoy. We must press on. Trust to the gods. Your victory, after all, is theirs. Configure the strategium to give us as much warning as possible. Indeed, 
the fools offer thanks to their false emperor for deliverance, then the seeds are planted. Indeed, and they will blossom to beautiful upheaval at the appropriate hour. For now, the roots will spread throughout the Imperium, subverting others to our cause. A good day's work, Malevolence, but many more lie ahead. Imperial vessels have been destroyed. Then let us waste no more time here. Issue the order to withdraw. Our mission is complete. The refugee vessels are now under our command. Those amongst their crews, unready to share the glory of the Dark Gods, serve instead as sacrifice. If only Spire could see the fist closing about him. Would that I could feel his fear as the inevitable descends. The web of destiny shifts in your favor. Zinch favors you. <laughs> blood for the blood god! Soon. In the meantime, your decisive action has garnered a bounty of resources. And your example has drawn a great many lost souls to the true faith. Set them to use. The war goes on. It appears that our allies have been losing fleets along the borders of the Chinchar sector. You suspect we have a new enemy in the region? A new enemy, or the beginnings of a dark miracle demanding witness? Either way, you should see for yourself. Ascension must continue. The hour has come for Spire Skull to adorn the foot of Korn's throne. He will defy the gods no more. These are Abaddon's orders. The Warmaster pursues other objectives on the far side of the galaxy. Command of the Cadian Gate is mine. There will be no more failures. Spire is a cunning foe. Spire is weak as you are weak. Join your banner to mine at Nemesis Tessera and earn redemption. Or does your blood run thin at the thought of battle? Belakos fool. Carnage alone will not bring about victory. No. It may be that Spire is not the only one whose skull is overdue a cleaving. At last, Spire is within my grasp. His crews are weary, his reinforcements overdue. There will be no escape. All vessels, target the enemy flagship, maximum firepower. I will have Spire's charred corpse as a trophy. Real space distortions are provoking stellar activity. We can expect devastating solar eruptions to sweep this region. We cannot have our vessels set ablaze. Orspex has revealed several gas clouds and asteroid fields that will shield our vessels from the coruscation. Good. We need shelter only until the danger is past. Relay projected countdown to all vessels. Let none be caught unawares. By the Emperor, we are outmatched. Fall back to Rally Point Omicron Tiber! No, Spire. There will be no escape for you this day. Only a death long deserved. Enemy defense platform! Enemy ship sighted!
Phalanx to all Imperial forces. We are your shield and the enemy's doom. Let Dawn's magnificent daughter weather this storm. Confirmed, Captain. Spire to all escort vessels. We're clear of the fight. Assist the Phalanx any way you can. You cannot hide, Spire. Cower behind the Phalanx. Send everything you have into the fray. It changes nothing. Where is Hellbreed? We haven't the numbers to manage this alone. There has been no communication. Does the Lord Ravager mean to sacrifice us? Well, we shall not die easily. All vessels, concentrate fire on the Phalanx. Carve out its heart. Ship sighted! Enemy ship sighted! Fear us, or we strike from the wall! Fear us, for we strike from the wall! Warriors will never reach it in time. This 
Vader is your doing, Hellbreed. Gaze upon it! Master Hellbreed, but you will not live to face his judgment. You are a fool, Hellbreed, unfit to serve the ruinous powers as anything more than an example of wayward pride. I will offer your skull to corn myself. You dare think to depose me? I will be your death. I think not. All weapons, fire on Hellbreed's ship. Lord Ravager's ship is destroyed. Hellbreed has paid the price of his pride. Narrow faith such as his has no place in our ranks. Well said. Continue, Vriken. Glory awaits. Reports of the Imperium and the Eldari have struck common cause. They think us weak, broken, vulnerable. Show them we are not. Show the Dark Gods we are still worthy. Yes, let the stars shake to the screams of our foes. There is no hope, no truth, only the will of chaos. And on that matter, High Visionary Antherek of the Thousand Suns seeks an audience. The servants of the Great Deceiver seldom desire counsel without purpose. It would be wise to accede to his request. The web of destiny shifts in your favor. Zinch favors you. <laughs> blood for the Blood God! The web of destiny shifts in your favor. Zinch favors you. Malevolence. Eldari and Imperial vessels are closing in on your holdings in Skellus. Inevitable. Where do they muster? Colan, in the Medusa sector. So, the sons of Ferris Manus are involved? I believe so. Though their forces are not yet at full strength, they soon will be. Then now is the time to strike. Scatter them before your mighty hand. The region of space now known as the Eye of Terror was once home to the Eldari Empire. A prideful, sensuous people, the Eldari realized too late the perils of excess. The fourth Chaos God, Slanish, was born from their debauchery, 
Its coming heralded by a psychic scream that shook real space to its foundations and devastated the Eldari. The Crone Worlds are all that remain of the Eldari's fallen domain. They are blighted planets, consumed by the spreading unreality of the Eye of Terror and twisted to new and nightmarish realities. Though the Crone Worlds are overrun by the servants of the Dark Gods, the Eldari have not entirely abandoned them. They cannot, for only here can the treasured spirit stones be harvested, and thus the souls of the dying be saved from thirsting slanish. Such expeditions are fraught with peril, for there are few more dangerous places amongst the stars. Many who seek the Crone Worlds do not return. The Eldari have never recovered from the horrors of the Fall. They are a fractured, dwindling population on the brink of extinction. Most dwell aboard star-treading craft worlds, honing their peerless minds along the disciplined paths in the hope of staving off the perils of decadence and thus preventing a second, final catastrophe. But not all Eldari can bear the rigidity of craft world life. Some depart their homes, seeking adventure amongst the stars as corsairs. Such lives are fraught with danger, but are also rich with excitement. These outcasts can be found in every corner of the galaxy, blazing a brief but exhilarating trail before madness claims them. The Drakari too live outside the structures of the Eldari path. Corrupt and cruel, they keep Slanish at bay, not with discipline and spirit stones, but by feasting on the torment of others. Raiders and slavers all, the Drakari are a blight upon the galaxy, as selfish as they are sadistic, as untrustworthy as they are cunning. But in recent days, the barriers between the Eldari factions have begun to crumble, with ever more gathering beneath the banner of one named Ivrain. These Inari keep their beliefs hidden, as hidden as their intentions. Should they be encountered on the battlefield, caution will serve you well. Drang spoke true. The Eldari and the Imperium are indeed working together. Yes, but he made no mention of the Webway Gate. I wonder if his loyalties are clear. No matter. We'll seize control of the gate and cut off their reinforcements. Exciting!
You have seen... The Webway Gate is fully under our control. Prepare yourself. The Eldari are sure to counterattack. Do not let them overwhelm us. The Webway Gate is inert, and the enemy are but dust on the solar winds. A great victory for the ruinous powers, won by their foremost champion. Let the Imperium strike whatever alliances it wishes. All will fall before us. All will kneel before chaos. Indeed, I believe your triumphs are barely begun. The gods favor you with another victory. Our foes cannot stand. They won't give up so easily. Defeat will only bind them tighter. Then the Eldari must be destroyed. Without their support, many amongst the Imperial defenders will embrace the glory of Chaos. For that, we must know where the Eldari can be found. Auguries have revealed their location. The Caliban Sector. The very refuge for inconstant and shiftless souls. Reverence of the Four is spreading throughout the Imperial Navy. I hear many secrets. Not all of them to my liking. Explain. Admiral Drang's true loyalties are no longer secret. He will soon be uncloaked as a traitor. We cannot permit this. He knows too much of our dispositions throughout the region. It may be he has indeed outlived his usefulness. What is his current location? He's en route to Xercia, in the Cadian sector. We have detected Drang's flagship, close to the boarding range. We'll place the Admiral beyond our enemy's grasp. The Adeptus Astartes' fleet is closer than anticipated. It will be a race to retrieve him. Perhaps it is wiser to silence him completely. Trust the gods. Do not act out of fear. Besides, I wish one last conversation. <laughs> I invite you aboard my vessel, for your own protection. And I am grateful, but I would prefer to remain aboard my own ship. Alas, I find I must insist. Her bridge is detected! Escort craft lost! Traitor vessel! You will not recover your leg. I will see you all dead before Drang escapes his deserved fate. Drang's fate is not yours to decide, Kerr. As for my death, I doubt you have the metal for such deeds. Boarding my ship? Have I not been loyal? Have I not served you well? You promised freedom. Do not test my patience, Bran, lest I forget those promises. Surrender yourself. Strike successful, Master! Our strike team slaughtered them! 
for the War Master! Stand ready! <laughs> Our minions rampage through their ship! Boarding attack successful, Master! Sanctuary for betrayers, even in a nest of heresy such as yours. An unbending soul is often the most easily broken. Perhaps Maluad could be turned to power. The gods have no need of reluctant servants, Malevolence. He will be blind to their truth until his dying day. But perhaps that day should come all the sooner. Indeed. All vessels. The Adeptus Astartes must not be permitted to board this ship. Reduce them to cinders. We extracted anything else of worth from Drang. Very little. The investigation continues. I persuaded an interrogator from the Emperor's children to lend his skills. He's quite thorough. Keeping him from the grasp of the Imperial Fists made the expedition valuable enough, but we shall not be wasteful. Learn all you can, and then offer him death as reward for his service. Of course. Blessings of the Plague Father upon you. I bring tidings from the Sentinel Worlds where the Necrons of the Neferu Dynasty seek to thwart my great purpose. I see. Not tidings alone, then, but also a request for aid? A chance for you to prove your worthiness to Almighty Nurgle. Ending the Necron threat will require the Chalice of Entropy. An artifact forged from a splinter of the Plague Father's cauldron. This is the quest I have undertaken. I offer you the chance to share my burden. An opportunity to send the Necrons crawling back to their tombs. An opportunity such as this should be seized and swiftly. Very well. Where can this chalice be found? It has been stolen by Necron Trazin the Infinite. He cowers with his fellows in the Deferous system. If you would aid my quest, join me there. Long ago, before mankind was even a footnote in galactic history, the Necrons ruled the stars. 
but the march of time and grievous war forced them into hibernation. For 60 million years, they slumbered, untold legions entombed in deathless slumber, waiting for the hour in which their rule would once more shape the galaxy. Now, at long last, that time has arrived. With the coming of Abaddon's Black Crusade, life stirs beneath dead worlds. The mad pharaoh Kefrek rouses the Neferu dynasty to war. Ships of living metal blacken the stars, immune to the perils of an uncaring void, harnessing technology far beyond mankind's grasp. These vessels bestride the stellar wastes of the gods of old, reuniting the sundered worlds of the Neferu in a single glorious purpose. But Kefrek's plans go deeper than mere reconquest. The expansion of Dominion is but one step along the path that will either see him master of all he surveys, or the worlds bordering the Eye of Terror reduced to ash. The Chalice of Entropy has been located aboard this space station. Doubtless Trazin has removed it from his collection to make use of it somewhere in the Aegis Ocularis. It would appear to be under heavy guard. There are scanning probes and a fleet close by. We'll have to use the gas clouds to avoid detection. The gods will protect us, so long as we are careful in our approach. Heat signatures detected, Great One. No chances. Send the probes. Well, have you identified the signal? Negative report from probe. Stellar interference, nothing more. We have reached the first cloud. No sign of detection. Long may that continue. It shall be so. Acceptable. Most acceptable. Still no sign that the Necron cannot take probes have detected us, but they are between us and the station. Now we part ways. You must head north through the clouds to distract the probes. My postulant forces will head west to close on the station and retrieve our prize. Only vessels blessed by Nurgle can hope to contain the Chalice's glory without the consequence of a disintegrating hull. Very well. For the glory of Nurgle! I have reached the cloud, but the next gas cloud is divided by asteroids. He cannot close the gap before detection. Our auspexes detect another gas cloud, though it is distant. Radiation wave inbound. Praise Lurgle, but that will be the perfect cover. While it rages, the Necrons will not detect us, but we must return to concealment before it dissipates. Maltrius, what is your status? It ran us close, but we remain unseen. 
One more wave should carry us to the final cloud. Position. Are you prepared to draw out the Necron fleet? We stand ready. Good. Once the diversion begins, my Blight Lords will make their assault on the Necron base. It shall be so. For Nurgle! <laughs> Chaos fleet detected, Great One. Come, Necron. Face your final death. What have the stellar winds blown to my doorstep? Engage their vessels, but take care not to destroy them all. Some may be worthy of my collection. Yes, Great One. Intruders! How quaint. Have you come to steal from my collection or join it? Alas, I don't think I have space for you all. So let me share a little something with you. A Catan Shard of La Chadra. Reporting! For the War Master! Warriors are aboard the station. Heavy resistance, but we have the chalice. Excellent. Recover it to your vessel and make warp jump at once. What of you? We will make our own retreat and join you at the rendezvous point. As Nurgle wills. Our minions rampage through their ship. Turn to the warp! Ah, so falls the proud and feeling machine. I feel Nurgle's delight swelling within me. Oh, glorious pustules. The Necrons are blasphemy. Without soul or spirit to offer the dark gods, they are too easily reborn into new forms. Trazen will blaspheme no more, and others will follow him into the void before we are done. We'll have to. These Necrons are more dangerous than I believed. The Chalice of Entropy has the power to end their threat. Just as Nurgle has shown me the path to victory, so will I show you. I hear rumors that the Necrons have conceived a great weapon. Details are few, but my informants whisper of something that will bring our plans to naught. Then we must act, and trust that our strength is equal to the challenge. Grandfather Nurgle has foreseen your end. 
Why else do you suppose the challenge of entropy was so important? Even now, it is linked to the Plague Father's otherworldly garden. It needs only the proper ritual, and the two will be one once more. And you, Vriken, will replace me as Nurgle's chosen herald. This makes little sense. Our faith. If Nurgle wills it, so shall it be. Set course for the Lone Star system, and you will see. The Necron weapon is in sight. It appears to be some kind of artificial world. So many unsuspecting hosts for contagion. Is that not so, Maltrius? Indeed, indeed. But to reach the surface, we must first destroy its defense platforms. See that this is done, and I shall bring the chalice of entropy into that world's heart. It shall be so. Quail intruders! You shall not prevent our closing of the Eye of Terror. Cleric, destroy them. Yes, Great One. Seal the Great Eye. Heresy of the highest order. Enemy ship sighted! Enemy ship sighted! Tremor cannon active, Great One. However, I worry over our own vessels in the engagement zone. Some sacrifices are necessary, never saw. My gunners will endeavor to spare as many as we can. My thanks, Great One. Enemy ship sighted! We cannot take much more!
Understood. Give me the coordinates and I will deploy reinforcements. Assault group deployed. Our possessed warriors are too ferocious for the defenders. Good. We can breathe easier once that cannon falls silent. The Dark Throne teams will invade us. Clear everything. Drive back their ships. At once, Great One. Lord, the Necron sees his vaults are empty and against us. I require immediate reinforcement or the ritual will be disrupted. I understand. Malevolence. I believe it is time to unleash the Hounds of Lorgar. Have our anointed Terminators make ready for immediate incursion. An excellent idea. We have secured the summoning site. Even now, the demonic soldiers of Great Nurgle join the fray to assist our efforts. The Apostles speak too soon. There is no end to these Necrons. We need more bodies to stem their assault. You shall have them. As many as you need. Our willing sacrifice to the Lord of Decay. You will have no victory here. We are eternal. We will not be overcome. Yes! Yes! This summoning is done! Great Nurgle, my soul is yours! Bring forth your great entropy and sweep this gaudy idol to dust! Magnificent! Maltrius was true to the last. He surely serves the Plague Father in you, reborn from the cauldron as a prince of demons. A reward you and I might someday share now our dedication to Nurgle is proven beyond doubt. But first, my conquest must continue. The Necrons, once masters of the galaxy of yore, are no more. Their immutable civilization now crumbles under the gifts of entropy. Witness, Vriken, the promise fulfilled. Maltrius is now at the Plague Father's side, and the Necrons lament within his cauldron. From their corruption, a thousand new plagues will arise to wither away the immortality of their kind. Who knows what joys they shall bring the galaxy. And you, Vriken, now bear Nurgle's mark. I see his glory reflected upon you. Praise the Plague Father. Praise his mortal servant. I feel his blessing teeming in my veins, his decay on my breath. Praise Nurgle. Praise the Dark Gods! Hail, Vriken. Hand of the Gods upon this wretched mortal realm. I greet you. What would the Acolytes of the Great Deceiver have of me? Zeech is impressed with your cunning at luring the Tyranids to the Aegis Ocularis. But the schemes of fate have shifted. Your actions have the potential to see the entire region consumed. Guided by their Ancient One, the Tyranids grow in number and ferocity. We cannot permit this. One ritual drew the Great Devourer to this place. Another will lure them away. No. Zeech has sent dire omens. Another ritual will only draw more to us. Then what must be done? The Devourer is drawn to worlds teeming with biomass. You must create such a world to lure the Ancient One into a trap. Belial IV has become a haven for refugees from the unfolding war. If they were to be herded to one place... The Tyranids would come to consume them all. It shall be done. I'll direct my captains to raid the Haven worlds. The refugees will flee here, a stellar fortress deep within the Tempest of Enemy Sorrow. A deception apart. worthy of Zinch himself. We shall see. Prepare the fleet. See? The refugees converge at the Tempest of Sorrow. My coven feels the shadow in the warp growing. A gene stealer cult may have infiltrated the refugees. All the better for us. 
The psychic signal will draw the Ancient One to the feast. Zeech sent me visions of a great victory to come. Of the ascension of one who is to bear his mark and his trust. Enemy you, Kraken, we shall see. see. This will not be an easy battle. You must act with haste before the chance is lost. When we are ready, only a fool fights the Tyranids unprepared. Zinch's favor or no? Chart a course to the Tempest of Sorrow. This is the Mankind's Valor to all Imperial vessels! The Tyranids are upon us! We cannot defend the refugee convoy alone! We require immediate assistance! Do you smell that fear? The scent of prey before the predator? The desperation for salvation? New converts, perhaps? Let us see what bounty lies before us. Admiral Malakor, we will grant the assistance you require in exchange for your allegiance. Never! I serve the Emperor. I am his shield and his sword. The Corpse Emperor. <laughs> Are you willing to die for him? He offers salvation. And I offer the chance to live another day. Which of us is truly worthy of your worship? Aid us, I beg you. See? That wasn't so difficult a choice, was it? Ship sighted! Could it be I've been blind my whole life? Has my faith been in vain? Emerge victorious! Hail Lord Riken. Possibilities converge in this place, and the servants of the great deceiver stand with you. Then Zeech sees our efforts. He is most attentive. Be sure not to disappoint him. 
The Tyranids must be stopped here, or a thousand probabilities condensed to a single barren future. Ship lost! Ship lost! for impact. Fear us, for we strike from the war! Successful master! That psychic scream has devastated our warrior's morale. Understood. We must kill the beast before it can scream again. After today, after you stood with us where others would not, and emerged triumphant, how can I not see the folly of my faith? Praise the Dark Gods! The Tyranids, devourers of a thousand worlds, have choked on their last meal. Now thousands of futures open to the architect of fate. With their synapse beasts slain, the tyrannies have grown feral. The web of destiny shifts in your favor. Zine surely favors you. 
he does. In the moment of the Ancient One's death, the veil of the future fell away. The shifting possibilities of days to come arrayed in splendor and panoply. I perceive them all. It is beautiful. To think this is but a portion of what all-knowing Zinch perceives. This is Admiral Malakor. I will no longer fight for an Imperium that has abandoned my men to the Great Devourer, nor for the Coward Spire. I offer you my service. Please respond. Malakor will betray us. Or perhaps he remains loyal. Or he dies, struck down by his second. A thousand more possibilities beckon. Which is real. Trust Siege to guide you, Vriken. You are his champion now. He will not abandon you. Yes, yes of course. Admiral Malakor, your service is accepted. Glory to the Dark Gods! The Medusa Sector is infested with Eldari, and my master thirsts. I invite you to join the hunt. What is the nature of your quarry? The idolaters who name themselves Inari. An alliance of Eldari drawn from across their many factions. They seek to selfishly guard their souls, and even steal them from almighty Slanesh to feed their corpse god Ined. Already their actions disturb the perfection of the war. They must be stopped, lest they weaken our prince. The favor of Slanesh is not easily earned. This would be a good opportunity to draw his attention. Very well. We will make foray into the Medusa Sector. What souls we cull, we dedicate to the Dark Prince. Excellent. Seek the Inari Admirals who hold sway over the Caliban Sector. They hold the secret location of their craft world. Is your master sated, Demoros? His cries of delight ripple through the warp. But you have offered up only an appetizer. He hungers for more. And the Inari continue their assault on his timeless spirit. In their selfishness, they would pick him apart, piece by piece. We cannot permit this effrontery. We shall not. It pleases me to hear you say so. I'm currently pursuing survivors of your attacks. They're sure to lead me to their craft world. Then our prince will feast. I will await your signal. We have located the Anari craft world. Their apprehension. So delicious. I'm altering course to join you. We will revel in their deaths. Their screams. I must hear them. I must taste them. The Anari are converging on a nebula in the Sanctuary system. Are there any known bases in the area? None. Most avoid Sanctuary. Too many fleets have vanished without trace within. Their craft world is here. I can sense their fear. As can you, Vrykan, can you not? Yes. Yes, this is the place. The terror is intoxicating. There are so many cowering in fear. This is but a fraction of what the Dark Prince has to offer the faithful. Come with me to Sanctuary. Bring every vessel you can. Offer the Inari to our Prince. Receive his blessing. Yes. Set course for Sanctuary. The Prince thirsts. Craftworld Ostara is in sight. At last. Prepare all assault parties. Order the Anointed to make ready. My Warpsmiths have found a demonic crucible to your ship's systems. It will gather the souls of those you slay and offer them to our Dark Prince.
Remember, my children. Those you kill are dedicated to Slanesh. Revel in the joy of perfect slaughter and let our god feast. Eldaris desperately assembled and struggled under the leadership of the God of the Dead, but found only suffering. How delightful. Vriken, you haven't moved since the last vessel exploded. Can you hear me? I hear you. Their anguish, their screams, so succulent. I tasted a portion of the Dark Prince's banquet. It was exquisite. Exquisite, but already the memory fades. I must taste it again. Then Slanesh has chosen you for his own. A great honor. I must feed him. The Aldari are extinguished, but the Aegis Ocularis burgeons with souls. All shall belong to my prince, and I shall suck from each as it passes his lips. You are marked, brother. 
Think of the anguish we shall loose upon the galaxy. I am honored to serve one so steeped in Slanish's favor. Let the galaxy scream, brother. Praise the gods. But you were petitioned for an audience. Petitioned? In most forthright terms. The world eaters are not known for either respect or subtlety. Welcome to Skaros! Here there has been war and slaughter on a scale you cannot conceive! And still the orcs come, led by their warlord, Blitz Ripper! My berserkers have drowned worlds in their blood, but the fighting continues! I demand you join your forces to mine! Demand? We should secure Skaros. And if there is indeed carnage to be had, it will surely attract Korn's favor. Very well. We shall offer the Blood God all the tribute he would wish. A demonstration of our might will throw these barbaric creatures into disarray. Blood for the Blood God! Orcs are amongst the deadliest of the Xenos races. Multitudinous, belligerent, and possessed of brutal cunning, they spread across the stars like a green tide. Even in the war-riven sectors around the Eye of Terror, forever beset by chaos, they rank amongst the greatest threats. As battle raged between the Imperium and the dread forces of chaos, the Orcs gained a foothold upon ravaged worlds, using them as staging areas from which they could slingshot deeper into Imperial territory. Orc technology is ramshackle, but terrifyingly effective. Combining mismatched components, scavenged gear, and intuitive leaps to forge weapon systems whose inner workings baffle the most experienced of the Imperium's adepts, but lack for nothing in sheer unbridled firepower. In much the same way, an Orc Warlord can take a multitude of squabbling clans and forge them into an unstoppable army. Such a war has the sheer unbridled might necessary to conquer the stars themselves, leaving naught but rubble in its wake. As its momentum grows, so do its numbers grow, swollen by green skins drawn to the promise of bloodlust, teeth, and loot. The orcs scattered, their lust for battle drowned by their fear. Blood for the Blood God! Indeed. Are you not glad I chose to share my victory? His victory? No matter. We have gained a foothold in this sector, but we must move quickly. The war must be ended, which means we must bring death to Warlord Blitz Ripper. You will aid in this, Barris? Blood for the Blood God! My agents have contacted Warboss Gore Spitter, Blitz Ripper's second in command. He has agreed to turn on his master for the proper price. Why bargain when we can simply take their skulls? Little good that has done you so far, World Eater. Vane, what price does Gore Spitter demand? Space tight and flesh, and in great quantity. Worthless beasts. The Nerivian Expanse is overrun with them! Then that is where we shall go. Space Titans. Magnificent creatures, are they not? but ultimately defenseless before the might of the faithful. But still dangerous if we approach without care. If rammed by such a beast, our hull will crumble like parchment. Here! Yeah, what's all this? These are my fishes! Hands off! Yours? No. They belong to Gore Spitter, on whose behalf we have come hunting. Oi! 
I work for Door Spitter. You won't kick me out of my chief. My boys will kill that fishy faster than you. Attack successful, master! Plenty to offer great corn. And Gorspitter? His future, and that of the Wa itself, is to be very brief. Blitzripper's forces is gathering a Thracia Primaris! Lots of boys, but nothing we can't handle. Bring your spiky ships! I'll have the cannons ready for your signal! <laughs> Prepare the fleets! We will crush the orcs for the glory of the Dark Gods. Blood for the Blood God! Skulls for the Skull Throne! So, the sniveling grots were speaking that truth. We've had spiky boys tromping our backyard all this time. Time to get to the crumping! We will carve prayers to the gods into his upstart flesh. Indeed we will, Malevolence, but we cannot match their fury with indiscipline. It will take more than fervor to win this battle. Firestarter! Burn them all! Right you are, boss! Told you them blood axes and evil sons weren't fighty enough for this! Reckon you can do better! Show me! You sure, boss? Wouldn't want to deny your good thumping! You gonna keep drawing, or start fighting? Or do you need reminding who's the boss around here? No, boss! Come on, boys! Let's show up!
be doing right, you gotta do it yourself. Gorspear, you'll attack with me. No way. You ain't my boss. You worthless lump. You fight with me, or you'll get no more fishy flesh from my boys. Got everything I need already. Spikey's paid me good and well. You feeble, jawing traitor. Gonna kill you at all. Wah! Wah! Why? Gorspear, why are you fighting with the Spikey boys? You're weak, Blitz River. Always taking the best loot. Getting others to do your fighting. The boys need a new boss. You? You won't last a day, you slack bellied pile of squid dung. Squid dung? Right. Now this is gonna hurt. Crushed an enemy defense platform! Successful master! Space Hulks destroyed. A tribute of skulls fit to please Bellico's corn. Yes, let the Lord of Battle see our work and grant us his favor. How could he not? You have spilled rivers of blood in his name. Skinned threat. 
belligerent to the last. They served well the glory of the Blood God, and they were masterfully disposed of. Praise the Dark Gods. The green skins are routed. They will no longer threaten our holdings around the Eye of Terror. Then we should return to more important matters. My crews and I are with you! <laughs> you paved the stars with slaughter! Korn has granted you his mark and his favor! I feel his wrath, his strength, the fire of his forge in my sinews. The greatest carnage is yet to come. Blood for the Blood God! Blood for the Blood God! Trang's resistance was impressive for one who has lost so much of himself to the interrogator's attentions. But his last secret is ours. A vast Ultramarine's fleet is closing on the War Master. They expect to bring him to battle at the Obsidian Depths. That's bold for the sons of Gulaman. They are normally more methodical. Trang claimed it is none other than their Primarch who leads them. Rabute Gulliman? Impossible. I will speak with Drang myself. Alas, the Admiral has lost his head. But there was no deception in him. Not at the end. Gulliman is alive, and he presents an opportunity. To prove my worth to Abaddon? Indeed. Join with him at the Obsidian Depths. Make a gift of Gulliman. What greater token of worth could there be? We have the vengeful spirit on our auspex. A vast Ultramarine's fleet is closing at great speed. Vengeful spirit, this is Malos Vrykan of the Word Bearers. Your foes are ours. How can we serve? At last, a true servant shows himself. Fight at my side. Prove your loyalty, and the rewards will be incalculable! I live to serve, War Master. Then do so with deeds, not words! Destroy the Ultramarine's vanguard! Prove that the sons of Lorgar are not wholly worthless! Sighted! Signature activity. Warmaster, you must 
disengage. Very well. This was the battle you sought. Fight it to the last. Our signature approaching. It's the Macrog's honor. Your race is run, Abaddon. Too long has the galaxy suffered your predations. This is the hour of your death. Gulliman, you think I'll fall to one such as you? You're a relic of the past, a fragile remnant of a feeble age. Vrygan, break this lick spittle apart. Do as you will with his lackeys, but bring Gulliman to me. I will not fail you, War Master. Blood debts of old will be repaid this day, word bearer. For the innocence of Kalf, for fallen battle brothers, for the Emperor! Your orders! Slaughtered them! Warp strike successful, Master! spirit is disengaged. There can be no victory for Gulliman this day. Denying a victory is not enough. Gulliman will taste defeat and I shall bring him to Abaddon in chains. Prepare full assault on the Macrog's honor! Warp strike successful, master! Our minions rampage through their ship! Krog's honor is a tomb and Gulliman our prisoner. Does he live? Well enough to survive delivery to War Master Abaddon. Good. See that he is well guarded. The battle yet rages and I wish for no distractions. It will be done. A hard battle won in the gods' name. Can there be anything sweeter? Perhaps the humbling of an old foe and the prospect of his demise. Indeed, Malevolence. We should make haste to Abaddon's side. I'm sure our gift will not go unappreciated. I offer a gift, War Master. A trifle won in battle fought in Abaddon's name. I am no gift, no plaything. These bonds will not hold me. I will be your death, traitor! Gulliman, 
At last the debts of old come due. You will break for death before I am done with you, O oh avenging son. Only when you have no more indignities to suffer, when pain offers nothing but solace, will I smother your final breath. And you, Malos Brycan, have proven yourself where Threxos showed only failure. I live only to serve the glory of the Four War Master. Then do so. I name you Harbinger of the True Faith and place the fate of the Aegis Ocularis in your hands. Wield the vengeful spirit as you would your own weapon. Drown those loyal to the Corpse Emperor in a tide of their own blood. In your name, and in the names of the Dark Gods, I shall, War Master. The Eidolon Sector has known nothing but humiliation since I departed for Ultramar. Hellbreed's incompetence must be set right. I live to serve, War Master. Sortyrus is under siege from weakling Adeptus Astartes, Dracassi from the Pavidius Eldari, and the Imperial Navy seeks to punish Sicarus for your successes. They dare assault the throne of the Prophet Lorgar. They shall be cast into the void. Scour these worlds of pretenders. Unmake the lies of Imperium and unite our sundered allies. It shall be as you command, War Master. I greet you, Harbinger, and praise your name. By your hand, Sortyrus is secure. It shall not suffer Prospero's fate. You may discharge your debt through service. Send your sorcerers to ease my vessel's passage through the Immaterium. As you wish, so shall it be done. Who claims my kills? Who dares steal tribute from the Throne of Skulls? I dare, but only so you might partake of a greater slaughter. Follow me into the fire, and I will grant you a war without end. <laughs> blood for the Blood God! We have liberated Sicarus. Reinforcements flock to your banner. Have our Dark Apostles spread throughout the fleets. Let them carry the word of chaos with them. Let all know the glory of the Dark Gods. Eidolon is ours once more, War Master. As it should be. Again you prove yourself, but the greatest challenges are yet to come. I swear before the gods that I will not fail you. Admiral Spire has gathered what remains of Imperial forces into a single armada. The galaxy has not seen its like since the days of the Great Crusade. He thinks himself strong, but his debt from the Gothic War comes due. You will break him for me. I will be your blade, War Master, wielded to the purpose of the Dark Gods. Deliver this victory, and you earn your place in my inner circle. Hold nothing back. Obliterate Spire and all who follow him into battle. Let his fate ring throughout the Imperium. As you command, all shall be chaos. Vain, my apostle. Your command. Go to Hedax. The Warpsmiths should have completed their labors by now. Let them rouse that most exquisite of reinforcement to our cause. At once. <laughs> should I expect? The brave, the competent, they died long ago by my hand. Only the foolish and callow remain. Then your humiliation will be all the greater when we grind you to dust. The Iron Hands speak for us all, traitor. 
We are the Emperor's Fury, and we will not be denied. Your analysis is flawed, Wordbearer. Your victory unlikely. Indeed. Gulliman once thought the same. He was wrong, as you will see before long. But if you would prove yourself his better, here I am. Cast me down. Successful master! Our minions rampage through their ship! Enemy ship sighted! Flagship is gone. Our numbers grow thin. But our faith shines undimmed. For the Emperor! The flesh is weak! At last, Spire deigns to show himself. Tell me, do you see the futility of your cause? Or do you remain blind even now? I see clearer than you could ever imagine. For the Emperor's truth is my guide. His wrath, my weapon. I will see you slain this day. With your death dies the struggle for the Aegis Ocularis. Then come, let truth be tested in battle. This is gone.
Phalanx deployed. Engaging the foe. But for how long, son of Dawn, you fled our last encounter? Press the attack. It matters not to whose blade Vrykon falls. Only that he does. Yes. Drown the stars in blood. Sing a hymn of battle to the ruinous powers. Show them that humanity is ready for their blessing. For the ascension only they offer. Successful master! Our minions rampage through their ship! Heavy damage! in its flesh. The Phalanx's hour is done. If she dies, she dies in battle as a warrior should. And you, you will fail, just as your kind have always failed. Just one more in a litany of worthless traitors. Is your mind truly too small to recognize the truth? We are inevitable. Chaos is inevitable. Let me offer proof. Behold, the Monarchia redeemed! The Macrog's honor! What have you done? It serves a new master now. A new cause. Vane, destroy the Phalanx! At once. Let Dawn's legacy be scoured from the stars.
It's too late. The mighty phalanx is destroyed. So be it. If we are to die this day, we will do the Emperor proud. Fight on! So passes the legacy of Dawn. Its fires mark a new and glorious age. Battle is done. The Imperium's last hold on the Aegis Ocularis is ended. I, Malos Vrykan, claim the victory and dominion over these worlds. I claim the spoils of Battle One. I claim... No, Vrykan. This was never your hour. You have done all that I required. Walked every step of the path I laid before you. All that I molded you to achieve, you have accomplished. But now you must set aside your conquest for one worthier, more faithful than yourself. Die well, and know that I will lead mankind to glory in your place. Vain, you betray me? All vessels, I call upon you to prove your loyalty. Destroy the Monarchia redeemed! We stand ready! worm like you. No! I will kill you. I will kill you all! Successful master! worlds through blood and decay, through horrors that warp the mind, through perfection and perversions, I never doubted, not until now. Pride, the disease that laid Horus low, it courses through Abaddon's blood also, it is his weakness. Once, he was mankind's greatest champion against a stultifying Imperium. Now, he is nothing more than a relic of the past. A herald to my ascension. My hour is coming. I offer a toast to the War Master!